Charizard, Ninetales, Mammoth Swine, Duraludon, Pelipper, and Ludicolo. Okay, okay. A little bit of double weather. And he thinks we're sand, which we're not. Uh, we are definitely going to be going Sableye. I think I'm going to show you guys Sableye Butterfree. I want to show you guys how this works. Sableye. Let me try this. Again, we're still practicing. We're still learning. Uh, we're going to try and show you guys one of the different modes this team can do. I feel every single team, you don't really need to like leads or flow charts. What you need to do is have four to five different strategies or, you know, team game plans that you kind of can load out. You know, like if you guys play like other fighters, it's like having your, your loadout already locked in. And it's like five or six different sets. I don't know you guys play like League of Legends, but you can go like the recommended preset items for your character, different recommended builds. This is a different recommended build for this team. And so the way this works is we're going to be able to go for like a fake out sleep powder. And then we're going to go for like a sleep powder on the other one. So we're going to be able to get a double sleep powder if we call the Dynamax right. Right. Or we could just go for like a, a, like a quash. Oh, man, we could just go for like a quash befuddle. Um, but I think I'm going to go for the double sleep powder. Um, I think we're going to fake out the Duraludon because I think that is the Pokemon that... I think he's going to G-Max his Charizard. So we want to put that to sleep. So we're going to fake out the Duraludon. This is a heavy read play. We're using a Choice Scarf Butterfree. So we're going to be faster than his Charizard. If he decides to Dynamax his Duraludon... Right, so cool, no Dynamax? Awesome. Strats work. So sleep powder. And remember, we have compound eyes. So we're not going to miss. What other mons get Quash? Not many, and not many Prankster mons. Only real Sableye. Mammoth Swine can be good. It's really, really good. Sableye's basically a discount Grim style. No, they're completely different. They're so different. Sableye has really good typing. Sableye gets that Encore. Sableye gets everything that you need to succeed, and we're also going to be switching it out. Sableye's going to be switching on out. I think I'm going to switch it up for Excadrill. So we're going to switch that one on in. And we're going to then Sleep Powder the Stereo Ludon. So this is a cool way to get a double Sleep Play, and... The reason why this worked is because he's like, oh, I'm faster than he is with both of these Pokemon. Duraludon's 85 base speed, Charizard's 100, Butterfree's a 70. He's like, Psh, I outspeed this guy, but we're using a Choice Scarf, so we're able to do it. And now, if we really wanted to, we could even Dynamax or Gigantamax with our Butterfree and mess it up. Oh, man, he actually went for an Air Slash. He woke up one turn sleep, a little bit of Never Lucky, so he's probably going to get a KO there. Um, Never Lucky, we got a one turn sleep. You hate to see it, but... It's okay, because we still have... We can bring the Sableye right back out. There's a bunch of other things we can do. We can bring in Togekiss if we wanted. I think Togekiss is usable here. I think I'm just going to bring the Sableye out, bake out the Charizard, um, go for a Dynamax ground attack into the Duraludon. It's basically a guaranteed flinch. Yeah, it's guaranteed flinch the first turn that you're sent out. All right, you breed Scrafty with the Meowth. Bake out. Yeah, you're talking about... You're telling me how to do it. If he decides to Dynamax with his Charizard, we're in a bad spot. He might. We'll see. I want the uh, Duraludon gone. Hope you're having a good day. I'm having a good day. All right. Looks like he's not. Can Corsa learn Taunt? I don't think it can. I do not think it can. What even is Quash? Quash is a move that says uh, whoever gets hit by the Quash moves last in the turn, right? So it delays their attack until the, like, the end of the turn. And so, so Sable is a prankster Pokemon, which means it has a priority boost to the Quash. So you're able just to Quash and make them go last. So if they have a Tailwind, they have a Trick Room, doesn't matter. They go last. They just go last, which is really, really good. It's like it's like a low-key spammable fake out. So I did this to get the special D-boost. So when the Charizard decides to go for like a Heat Wave or something like that, Extra is going to be pretty peachy sitting right there. I want to see if he sends out a Water type. He sends like a Pelipper, right? What I'll be able to do now is Quash the Pelipper and go for like a Max Rock Fall into the Charizard. Or same thing for Ninetales, and I'll be real be able to reset the weather. Thoughts on Giga Scorch in VGC? Um, is it legal? If so, it's pretty good. I think Scorch actually is better than people are giving it credit for. I've been washed twice by Scorch, and it's just pretty good. Mammoth Swine? That's fine. I think that's fine. I think I have to actually hit that with a Steel Spike. Yeah, I do. So we're going to quash this Zard. Just so we don't die. I don't think he can actually cave me with the Zard because we have a special D boost already. Uh, we should be able to fight this Mammoth Swine. I don't know if we outspeed the Mammoth Swine, but I don't want to outspeed. I don't want both of these guys to damage me before I can take out one of them. And we again, we don't know who he's Dynamaxing with. It's really, really scary. Uh, I would say Charizard's scarier to fight than this Mammoth Swine right now because we have a Togekiss. But let's see who he's Dynamaxing with. Look, is he not? That's fine. The longer he doesn't Dynamax, the scarier this becomes, by the way. Like, I'll take it this turn. This is a good turn for me. 
He's going to go for the EQ. It's not going to do a ton to my extra drill because we're really, really bulky. But, like, that is very significant damage. Uh, we need to be able to get this uh, Mammoth Swine off the board. If it's Sash, this is bad. All right, cool. Let's go. Awesome. So, let's see. What is Charizard using? I really don't think Charizard could KO me with, like, a Heat Wave. He might be air slashing my, to my, my Sableye slot. But I don't even know if it can KO because we have that big special D-boost. Survey says air slash into Sableye. He knows the Sableye is the strength. Oh, and that's why we put so much investment into special D. You always got to think about the attacks that you're going to be mitigating. Or, well, we put a lot of points in, in defense, but that's why we put some points in special D. Because it messes up people's calcs. Giga Dread on VGC interests me. No, I think it's really good. Rocks in 2 rate in VGC? Incorrect. I actually took a set that used uh, rocks in VGC very, very, very far. Oh, we're going to rock fall the Shizard. Oh, we're going to quash the... I think we're going to quash the Woody Colo. I don't think he's going to... No, we don't need to quash the Lee Colo, do we? We can just go for the quash on the Zard. We, we outspeed the Lee Colo. And you get Rock Setters. Most Pokemon that get Rocks are actually still pretty good. He's finally deciding to go for that Max. I want to see if he maxes with the Lee Colo. We do outspeed a Lee Colo, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, uh, Rocks are very good in VGC, in my opinion. All right, Zard. Can we one-shot this? I'm actually curious if we can one-shot this. Because he's not even at full. This is the last turn of my Dynamax. And you can't fake out me because I'm obviously Dynamax Pokemon. Pull out the Sableye. How's it going? Yo, it's going absolutely amazing. Rockfall coming on in here. Exodus is showing off its full strength here. Would you once allow G-Max Dreadnought for Rocks? Yeah, that's probably one of the mons I'm most excited to use. Did that just not KO? Bruh. Bruh. All right, cool. I was like, it had to have gone. I wasn't paying attention. Charles goes down. The power of Quash compels you. And let's see what Ludi does. Doesn't matter if he KOs the... Uh, Sable, I was going to get killed by Sandstorm anyways. Perfect. Perfect. And Exodus has some big boosts right now. It has a plus one defense, plus one specialty. We can see he's life orbed and taking Sandstorm damage. And we're able to bring out our Toei Kiss. What's your Eevee spread? Nature and Exodrill. Um, we are Jolly Nature. We have 28 points in HP. We have, I think, 144 in defense and like 116 in specialty. And it's assault vested, so it's not thing like a normal extra drill you would normally play against. And we got this. That was a good game, though. Uh, really, just showed off what Quash can bring to the table. Does Quash always let you go first? Quash is a priority move. Sorry, Quash is a regular move, but Sableye's prankster ability lets Sableye go first. We're using non-damaging moves, and then from there, was oh, that Weather Ball, bruh? That is so raw. I mean, in that situation, that's awesome. I mean, it sucks for him because he's proccing my weakness policy, but pretty good so yeah what quash does is it makes the person once targeted go last in the move bracket so it makes them automatically go last save why it lets it use quash first which is really really good so yeah we take those great use of quash that game quash just won us that game so you'll love to see it people have to wise up to quash one of the best moves in the yo game. look at that team Ooh, barascuda let's see a little bit of trick room there. Um, I don't know if there's a Lumberry or a Mental Herb on the... What is that Pokemon? Gothitil? Like, I could fake out it. I could fake out the Darmanitan, too. I think I might just fake out Sleep Powder. And then just, like, quash... The Fuddle? That seems like a fun way to deal with it. I'm gonna try it. Actually, I have, an, I have a really cool idea. I wanna show you guys something cool. Let's try these. I could I could beat this team eight different ways. But I just want to show you guys one of the ways. I could actually just let him set Trick Room and just win with my Snorlax. I'm okay. Uh, I could bring my Butterfree and go for like super sleep powders with T-Tar potential switch-ins to use Unnerved to make it so they can't proc their Lumberries. I'm okay. Uh, I could use Redirection Togekiss, set up, sweep them. I'm okay. I could use Extra Drill, set up multiple boosts, make it so they proc when, when they proc my weakness policy, they don't get KO'd and just sweep them. I'm okay. I'm going to show you guys what this one does. I want to see what type that Sylvie is. When's the actual VGC going to be out? It's already out. Rules are already out. Alright, what type is that Silvoli? Is that electric? Electric, alright. His name is WTH. Alright, let's go for the fake out and... Let me think about how I actually want to do this. That's it. You have a lot of content for people wondering about how to make EV spreads. EV spreads in general. Yeah, I do. Uh, I was talking about this yesterday. Uh, Elithrad linked, like, uh, one of the team building streams we did where we built teams from scratch. But if you guys look at any of the, like, YouTube videos for, like, the VDC 2019-2020 team buildings that I did live, 
all of those go over how to make teams from scratch. We're actually going to Dynamax here and go for a Befuddle. And even if we don't get the KO, we're going to show you guys a really, really cool way to Trick Room their Trick Room. Silicon Snipe coming in hot with that Twitch Prime for you. And fine, thank you so much, my friend. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Guys, put some subs up. Subs up for Silicon Snipe coming in hot with that Twitch Prime. You can use that anywhere on Twitch. You decide to use that on me. means so much, yo. You're making my day. Making a little bit of a Christmas Day miracle. Thank you so much, my friend. Subbed. Appreciate how informed you are in actually talking about the game. I'm trying my best. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions. I'm here. Now, I'm trying to do this exact mechanic here to show you guys one of the reasons why Sableye, I feel, is the superior speed control. We're going for a befuddle. This is what most people do. It's super effective. You have some chance for RNG. But let's say he was sashed. Let's say he had a, a bug reduced berry. Let's say my befuddle didn't KO, didn't get asleep, and he got up a trick room. Sableye could then just go for a priority boosted Encore into the Gothitelle slot. And then Gothitelle would trick room their own trick room, right? Super good. Super good. Yeah, I'll throw all of the videos where we build those teams from scratch. I would say most of the other ones that we do from scratch actually go a little bit more into EV training. Just a little bit. All right. Is your Snorlax GMX as well? Yes, we're using GMAX uh, as well on Snorlax. So Sableye, and you see like right here, he's like, okay, cool, you totally have that G-Max Butterfree, but I have two Pokemon that super outspeed the G-Max Butterfree. It's like, okay. Ooh, Barrascuta. I think I'm going to overgrowth it, over befuddling it, because I can just, I just KO it, and I can set some recovery for my Sableye in case he wants to clock my Sash. I don't mind doing that. I mean, I already have Poison on the other guy. I don't need to befuddle this turn. He's going to go G-Max. This is actually a lot stronger to go for the max overgrowth here, so this is actually the right play. Yeah, this is, this is just casual. We're just playing on casual because you can't play this on ranked right now. Even though the rules are out, you still can't play it on ranked until January. So we gotta get the practice somehow, guys. You gotta get the practice somehow. I love that Pokemon, by the way. I cannot wait to use it. That Pokemon's gonna be super meta by the end of the season. I promise you that Pokemon is so oppressive and controlling. Barrascuta, busted Pokemon. Absolutely busted Pokemon. Please go away. Oh my goodness. They never expect it. And the reason we actually have a grass attack is for Gastrodon. Is online and maintenance right now. I don't think it is. Oh, we're going to say Sableye can't be fake-outed. I already talked about it. You can't fake-out Sableye. You can't prankster taunt Sableye. Sableye has speed control that can't be stopped by other forms of speed control. Sableye's speed control says, I will always do this as long as Sableye is on the board. So it makes them have to take out the Sableye. And in reality, like, you could try and take out my Sableye all you want. But, like, still, like this, I just got paralyzed, right? So if I was running a, a Tailwind team, my partner being paralyzed would make it so I automatically lose. But I don't automatically lose because I can just quash them and still go at my same speed tiering. So I have Solar Beam teched on AV Duraludon, specifically max hit to Gastron. Yeah, I think that Giga Drain's better. If Duraludon got Giga Drain, that'd be awesome. But it doesn't. What's the last Pokemon? Escavalier. I will use Quash. And I will use Befoodle. It's neutral. Why does it say not very effective? It's neutral. I know this is neutral. Why is it saying that? It's really weird, right? I don't know, whatever. All right. That's on Ring Target and Lagging Tail. You think items are good in just gimmicks? I think that uh, Iron Ball is a lot better because you can fling an Iron Ball, right? You can fling the Iron Ball. Is that a crit? Almost. Survey says super effective. Butterfree. G Max with Fuddle. Here we go. Big damage. Bug doesn't resist bug. Oh, you're right. I'm a fucking idiot, doesn't it? I thought he was a grass type. He's green. Anyways, I got the lucky sleep. I got the I got the lucky sleep. I'm an idiot. Don't don't uh I'm an I'm an idiot. Leave me alone. <laughs> He's green. He I I I was looking at this like a uh, TCG, like a scavenger being a grass type in TCG. That's what that's the bad part about playing both formats. You are an idiot sometimes. How will Quash work with Entity Psychic Terrain and Sableye doesn't move first? Yeah, uh, you can't you can't use Prankster move in Psychic Terrain, so you just don't bring Sableye. Or you can use Butterfreeze. Uh, G Max grass attack to change the terrain. You can also just use like foul play on those things, right? Anyways, let's go for the big damage. Scavor's about to be taking that big hit. And Butterfree. I think I'm just going to go for a Hurricane. Oh, not Hurricane. Am I locked in any move? Perfect. So, yeah, there we go. Yo! Yo, Bay coming in. Raiding party of 62. Yo! Holy moly, you'll love to see it. That's awesome. Coming in hot with that raid. Thank you so much for deciding to raid my channel. Hopefully you had a wonderful day. Yo, guys, go click uh, 
on Balian's uh, profile and go drop them a follow. I really, really appreciate that. Hopefully you had a great stream. I love seeing all these amazing people. Band Remy, uh, Ribo007, yo. D Dick Ch Chainley? I can't, I can't read that, but yo, that's awesome. Kaiser, uh, Tarson Savarn, love seeing it. Thank you so much, Bay Raid, yo. That is so sick. Thank you so much. So, so, so much. What do I want to bring out here? Um, I have redirection here if I need it. No, I'm just going to bring the extra. Extra drill. That is so, so awesome. I've been loving your YouTube content for this game. It's been super helpful, and I appreciate you killing this game. Yo, that is that is just so nice. That is absolutely amazing. I love seeing it. Thank you so much. Like, I don't get raids all that often anymore. So, that really, really, really makes my day. I'm going to go drop I'm gonna go drop a follow like right, right, right now. Bam. Easiest follow of my life. I, I appreciate it. I'm always looking for more people to send the love back to as well. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. Big raid. That's probably one of the bigger raids I've actually gotten in like a long time. So, I really, really appreciate it. Thoughts on extreme speed on Togekiss? Uh, it, it was good. Oh, don't even get me started. That's like one of the best possible things in the world. Extreme speed on Togekiss. I used to use sets in 20, 2009, 2010, where I would use... Choice banded hustle extreme speed togekiss back when togekiss was still a normal type, and you would one shot Splissies, you would one shot Salamences after stealth rocks. It was so good. Extreme speed on togekiss used to be the best thing since sliced bread, and now it's it's not like it's not nearly as good because you, you don't stab it anymore. But I still like it, yo. We just dumpstered that ex cavalier with a foul play. Like Sableye also in the big damage department. I love this Pokemon. Sableye is so. We good. see Titar Extra Drill, Togekiss, Dragapult, Melodic, Ferrothorn. Let's see. Titar Extra Drill. The mirror match is a little bit dicey, right? Oh, it's a little bit dicey. I'm not gonna lie. Um, we're gonna have to go Butterfree, and uh, I mean Butterfree's okay. Like I can go Fake Out, but then I have to call it correctly. Can quash the Excadrill. I mean, I could also just Excadrill Mirror, like Excadrill Sableye. I don't really like that. I don't really like fighting the Mirror match here. It's not a match that I quite like, especially because we don't have um, we don't have like a Chopple Berry. Butterfree is really good though. I think I'm gonna go for a Befuddle. I think I will do that. I think we're gonna go. I'm gonna try the Befuddle play again. I think the Befuddle play is really worth working on and worth like learning the times when to use it. Because again, this is practice. We're practicing. We're learning the situation um, to actually like bust this out. This is a different type of like flow chart this team can actually do. So against T-Tar Exodrill, Exodrill's going to have that Sand Rush. Uh, T-Tar's going to be really, really bulky. Um, I think that the Exodrill would in this situation Dynamax doesn't want to get Fake Outed, right? Fake Out's greedy in this situation if you leave T-Tar Exodrill. Quash is the set is the, the standard play. He's not in leaning with. That's awesome. We can just we can just uh, quash the Dragapult, befuddle the Melodic, and we're good to go. All right. What five stick am I using? I am using the Hori Rap Rap Pro Rap Five. Just a just the Switch fight stick. It's nothing nothing special. I had it for Pokémon. Yeah, we're just gonna quash here though. Quash Arino, and uh, I could go for like Fake Out Melodic. Sleep powder that one, and then I can sleep powder the other one. But I think that I want to go for this. I think the G Max Befuddle is exactly what I want this game. Does everyone run competitive uh, in melodic? Yes. Uh, I've actually made a melodic set. There's a YouTube video talking about undefeatable melodic 2020 video. Check that one out. That's the coolest way to run melodic. I guarantee it. It's the coolest way. Only uses three moves. Doesn't even have a fourth move. You don't even need four moves. You say doubles. Competitive's best ability, if you haven't watched that video. Have you ever used the Pokémon Pad? I use the Pokémon Pad and Pokémon on specific characters. Uh, on Zoners, I like to use the Fight Stick. So I like when I play Shandor and Suicune, and even Sceptile to an extent, because they're like a little bit of a Zoner. Um, I, they're, they're a Trapper, I guess. I like to play with the Fight Stick. Quash Arena. So hopefully we roll Sleep on this guy, or a Para. That's right. Anyways, Befuddle! Yo, let me get that Sleep, yo! Night, night! Good night, good fight. Let's go. What do you think we're gonna get? Is going to the bad power a good way to test your team for online? Yes. All right, we got the sleep on the melodic. I'll take that. That's okay. And uh, we got the poison on the dragapult, which breaks Sash, I guess. U turn. It's totally fine. He's going to break Sash on Sableye. That's really, really smart. Good thing is, we're gonna be able to hit another Pokemon with the befuddle ability. So, very, very good so far. I wanna see what he brings in. I would like to see what he brings in. The opponent is breeding God to be able to have the perfect dives and shiny at the same time. They probably just use bottle caps and stuff. 
Yeah, probably just hyper trained. Togekiss, perfect. Let me see what I want to actually do against the Togekiss. I don't think my Butterfree outspeeds the Togekiss. And he's probably going to Dynamax with it. So, like, there's a couple ways I can handle this. I think I'm going to switch my Sableye out. I think having Sableye for later is actually really important. I think I want to... I don't want to max Overgrowth with Melodic. I don't think that will get KO. I think I'm just going to befuddle the Melodic slot again. It's going to do a lot of damage, and it could potentially hit the Togus with a status. It's good damage against Melodic. It can status the Togekiss. I don't need the speed yet. So, we'll see. We'll know if he's Scarfed after this turn, probably. Dazzling him. So, it looks like potential Scarf Arena. Doesn't do anything to Butterfree, so that's awesome. And Befuddle. Is there a limit to BP, or can you farm forever in Battle Tower? Yeah, you can farm forever. Let's see if the Melodic wakes up. He totally can. Uh, but let's see if we get that Togekiss with the Young Sleep. Para, I'll take it. Face someone and was going through their team afterwards. Five of their six had PK Hex as the OT. I mean, what are you going to do? Some people like to get their mons through uh, different ways. We're going to go for an Iron Head, and we're going to Airstream the Melodic. I think we can KO with an Airstream on the Melodic. Do you say there's a Melodic video up? There is. It's, it's a little bit older, but it talks about the really cool... Melodic set that I made in doubles with Steelix. Melodic and Steelix, perfect coverage. Melodic and Steelix, perfect coverage. You heard it here first, guys. I need to change the way my trainer looks. It's looked like that since, like, the start of the game. Like, that trainer looks pretty sick. I like the white with, like, the red trim. Very good. But I think the video is called, like, Unbeatable Melodic Team... It was. The team was lit. If I'm not the OT, I don't run it. Hey, that's smart. All right. Almost going down. I want to see if he uses D-Wing again. Because it would show me that he's uh, choiced. Please go away. That's what I'm talking about. Give me that speed boost that we need to outspeed that Dragapult next turn. So our extra is probably going to be able to outspeed this Dragapult. Unless he's, like, scarfed on the Dragapult. Instead of the Togekiss. We'll see. All right. That's fine. Ow! Is that a crit? I know it's super... As he had to crit that. All right. I still think... All right. He had to crit that, by the way. Had to do it. Had to crit there. 100%. Let me think about what I want to do then. That really sucks, by the way. Like, I was just going to sleep out of the Dragapult. I guess I have a Togekiss. That's fine. Be nice if Pokemon Company ban people for obviously hacked mons or require them to buy a whole new game and make a whole new Nintendo account. Yeah, that's never going to happen. And I think thinking that would happen... Like, we're not the NBA, you know? We're not... I mean, this isn't like that type this is not that type of game you know like that would never happen because like what if you what if you traded randomly and got got a pokemon randomly you didn't know was hacked you, you got to buy a whole new game imagine how that like that's not good for customer that's not good for business i think dgling can still care the tokus from here yeah i don't care how people get their mods you can't hack skill can't hack skill i'm not, it's not up to me to gatekeep how certain people play the game Everyone should enjoy it the way they want. I mean, I don't do that stuff. But it's not up to me to gatekeep their gaming experience. Let's see what they go for here. Um, It could be a Scarfed Excadrill. Look at the board. Excadrill Tokus versus Excadrill Tokus. Most stale meta of all time. Uh, He hasn't Dynamaxed, right? So if he can Dynamax with that Excadrill, that'd be a problem. That would be a problem if he Dynamax with his extra draw, I think. Hmm. He's not. I'll take it. He's going to try and Dynamax with that uh, Dragapult. I knew it was Sashed. I knew it. As long as there's not a load of Wonder Guard Sableyes running around. Yeah, that doesn't... They, they, they gatekeep those out. I should live. I'm going to extra live that. Give me that weakness policy, boys. That's what I'm talking about. That big weakness policy. Oh, he flinched me! No! No, that's really bad! That sucks. Quite a bit. And he burned me? He flinched and burned me? Are you for real? Ah! Ah! That sucks.
All right. He still hasn't Dynamax, so he's going to Dynamax with the Dragapult. I need my plus two. I need Sableye. So I need my extra drill to die. And he's going to Dynamax here? All right, I can win then. Depend on how this goes. If he's Dynamax with his Togekiss, I mean, I can't flinch his Togekiss, but I outspeed his Togekiss. As all I got to do is hit his extra drill with my extra drill. He's Dynamaxing with his extra drill. I, I hope that I, my Rock Slide from my Burned Extra Drill does 2 HP. Yo, you should stop by for a little bit. It means a lot. Can I hit my move? Max Guard? Alright, alright. That's so smart, by the way, because he's going to be able to bring out his Extra Drill. That's actually really smart. Or sorry, bring out the Dragapult, I mean. That's so smart. Hmm. Think about this. How do I get out of this situation? He can't Dynamax with his Dragapult anymore, and it's poison. I'm thinking about switching out my Togekiss for Sableye, but I'm not at full, right? My extra saw has a speed boost. I think I'm okay. I think you still do this. I think Rock Slide's still the sauce. I, do I out... That Dragapult could be Scarfed, though. This is the best play that I have. I think it's Dragapult Scarfed, and this is the only... That's why it has U-Turn, right? This is the best play that I got, though. I have an Airstream on my extra drill. That's why it's the, still the right play to do it like this. Because even if I switch up my Togekiss for Sableye, his extra drill, if he was able to kill my extra drill first, would still KO my Sableye with like a, a Steel Spike. Let's see though. Can my full speed extra drill with a plus one speed boost outspeed his Dragapult? Survey says, I do! That's right. We should probably be okay. Maybe. He, can keep, he might be able to kill my Togekiss. Is it timid or modest butterfree? You have to be timid. Have to be. Thunder, are you for real? What the hell? What is this man on? Can he not? Can you just not thunder me? The double, like, flinch burn thunder hits. Everyone disliked that. All right, I have to KO it with Sableye. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flinch him right back. You ready? I could Encore him into Thunder. And he can't hit my Exit Drill. But I, I'd lose the bite on, on Burn. Alright, let's go. I'm just going to flinch him. Flinch! Come on, come on, come on! Phantom Force, okay. Let me think about this. I have an idea. I'm about to absolutely big brain this man. Are you ready for this? Who's ready? I know he's in my Sableye, Chief. I know what you're about, son. You have to hit my Sableye, right? Right? All right, I just want to I just want to say I could Iron Head and Foul Play and win both of these because Iron Head's gonna miss, right? But if he hits the extra drill, foul play would KO. If he hits the Sableye, though, <laughs> which I think he is. <laughs> Yo, let's do it. Qu Self quash! Show me hitting the Sableye. Oh! Self quash! You'll love to see it. <laughs> Yo, amazing speed control. That's what I'm talking about. And then he's going to take a poison tick. And then I still think, like, even if he protects here, he takes more damage than I do. That was the coolest play of all time. Doesn't say if I get recover. Wouldn't it be a good thing to run? Not in doubles. In singles, yes. Not in doubles. And he's looking at this like, what is this? <laughs> Better not, like, shadow sneak me. I'll be so mad. I don't even know if we could shadow sneak. Right now, he's like, no. 
No one was ready for that. The self quash. That's right, yo. Wins up for that one. I love it. That's that's Pokemon right there. 